Hi, my name is Sam Bauer. I'm an extension educator in turfgrass here with the University of Minnesota. The research area that we're standing on here today is tall fescue, and the topic we're discussing is a time and place for tall fescue. So the plots that we're looking at here, you can see our traditional tall fescue, which is Kentucky 31. What do we think of when we think of tall fescue? We think light green color, we think low density, we think maybe some weed encroachment, we think, we think of it as a forage grass, and Kentucky 31 do, does show that those characteristics of tall fescue as a forage grass. Now in 1979, Rebel is a turf type variety of tall fescue that was released by the University of New Jersey. In front of this Kentucky 31 plot, we have a turf type tall fescue here. Since Rebel, there have been new and improved turf type varieties of tall fescue. And you can see the, the leaf texture differences. It's a lot thinner leaf texture. You can see the darker green color than Kentucky 31 as well. And it is a lot more dense than Kentucky 31. In what situations would you want to use tall fescue? Now tall fescue is seen to be a drought avoider. It does have an extensive root system. It's very good for home, home lawns when in the summer months we see extended periods of dryness. T tall fescue is a turf that will avoid those conditions because of its extensive root system. I'm thinking of, of golf course bunker faces, maybe golf course roughs, and in some of your lower maintenance sports fields as well, tall fescue does, is a very good grass for that situation. It offers a better heat tolerance than, than Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass. When our lawns here in the summer go dormant because they're Kentucky bluegrass, the tall fescue lawns have generally fared very well. The other advantages of tall fescue are it does have a, a very good insect and disease resistance here. Also, it has good traffic tolerance. And in sun or shade situations, tall fescue is a great grass species of choice. Tall fescue also is adapted to a wide range of soil types. So in wet or dry conditions, high pH or low pH, tall fescue will, will do very well. When you're considering using tall fescue, there are a couple traits that you need to be cautious of. We recommend to to seed tall fescue in the spring because in the winter months juvenile tall fescue will die. So a spring seeding allowing that summer month for the plants to mature and into the fall tall fescue will generally fare pretty well. In low-lying areas where we do have extended periods of ice cover tall fescue is also not a great grass for that situation. Additionally, one particular disease that we see here in Minnesota that does infect tall fescue is brown patch caused by the, the pathogen Rhizoctonia solani. Tall fescue is not by any means disease res resistant to brown patch, um, so that could cause some problems for you. So there are some cautions about using tall fescue, but it, we do see it as a great turf grass species in a lot of these areas that we discussed. We've moved over to the northeast corner of the Turf Grass Research Center. Now the trial area that we're standing on here is a Kentucky Bluegrass NTEP trial. So this would be our tr traditional grass species here for Minnesota. You can see some of the deep dark green color. Issues with Kentucky Bluegrass that we discussed is in the summer months, it does go dormant. It turns off color. This is, these are the situations where tall fescue would be a better turf grass species for you. As we walk over here, you can see our, our fine fescue border between the two trial areas. Fine fescue is a species you would generally find in a home lawn mix with Kentucky bluegrass. It's used in a lot of shade situations as well. The trial area that we have over here is tall fescue. Now this is Dr. Watkins turf grass breeding program. Just as we've bred tall fescues for, for better turf attributes, so, you know, such as green color, tighter density, and thinner leaf texture. We're also trying to breed some, some of the winter hardiness attributes into tall fescue. So tall fescue does have its issues with ice cover and going into, into the winter in a juvenile state. What we're trying to do here is make a more hardy tall fescue available to consumers.